Fellow Azmeo leaders, may I start by thanking you and saluting you and the people of Kenya, particularly the Azmeo supporters, who over the last few days and few weeks came out in they were able to bear the of police brutality. Some lost their lives, and one of them was a student from Maseno University. And I want to thank Governor Nyongo and Governor Simbarak. Yeah, yeah. They were there, they stood with the family. <laughs> but also to say that where we are, after a journey of tear gas and great police brutality, I just wanted to caution that we are only on a commercial break. We have just taken a stop in a journey. So don't let your guard down. We are not yet there. Until the price of Unga comes down, we are not yet there. Until the high cost of electricity comes down, we are not yet there. Until school fees comes down, we are not yet there. Until fuel comes down, we are not yet there. Until the server opens and we know the truth, we are not yet there. So, what has happened is a gesture which we want to believe is in good faith and goodwill in terms of stopping the process of reconstitution of IEBC and allowing a bipartisan uh, process. And I want to agree with Honorable Martha Karua that talking about the National Court is not about going back to the Nusumukati government. It's about arriving at an accord. An accord is an agreement between parties negotiated freely without coercion or otherwise. So we want a fair process that will give us an accord that will now be brought to Parliament for ratification by the House. So that clarification must be taken. We don't want a Nosomukate government because already the Kenya Kwanzaa government is a Nosomukate government. Because when uh, Rigadi Gashago has already said in the Serikali shareholders, 